Yo, what's going on, Phantom Thieves? I'm back with another video for you. And today I want to talk to you guys about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and how it's kind of bothering me that the campaign is being bashed. So, truth be told, I haven't played a Call of Duty game. It's been years, literally since like Ghost or Advanced Warfare is probably the last ones I played. I do play Warzone from time to time, but, you know, excluding that, I haven't played the actual campaigns and multiplayers in in a long time. So, I saw that the story mode for Modern Warfare 3 got a 4 out of 10 on IGN. And I haven't checked any other reviews. Um, like I said, it's not my kind of game anymore, but uh, it's blown up. And... I find it funny because a lot of a lot of PlayStation fans are gloating and they're like, oh, well, you guys talked about how short Spider-Man 3 or Spider-Man 2's campaign is. But look at this three to four hour Call of Duty campaign. First off, this is why the console wars do not hold much value anymore. Call of Duty has never had super long campaigns. Even if they were five to six hours, that's not long. You could beat that within you sitting down and playing straight through. You cannot compare a Spider-Man campaign to a Call of Duty campaign. I'm not talking about how good the story may be, but just talking about the length of it to compare those two. is It's goofy, okay? Part of me, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you think a lot of this has to deal with the fact that Microsoft now owns, you know, Activision, Blizzard, all that good stuff, right? If this was, if this deal would not have taken place, I want to know, would it have, would it have scored such a low score? These games come out yearly, and yes, I get, you know, Treyarch and Activision both do different games, but I've never seen a Call of Duty score a 4 out of 10. A four, that's abysmal. That's saying you should not play. And for people saying this is $70 DLC, first off, let, let's be completely honest. Unless you're a content creator just looking to get that story out for your views and stuff, nobody, nobody plays Call of Duty for the campaign and then that's it. Nobody. You're lying to yourself if you say that. Listen... Hear me and hear me good. Nobody plays Call of Duty to finish the campaign and then be done with it. So let, 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 let's let let's stop doing that. Yes, it got a 4 out of 10. I wonder why it truly got a 4 out of 10. And then once actual gamers start playing the campaign, let's see where the reviews are. And that's if it's not review bombed. This is why this console... War this video is about the bashing of Call of Duty, but it's also about why the console wars is so goofy in this day and age. This is this is ridiculous. I don't even play the games anymore, but do I think... And I, I'm probably going to watch some people play the campaign just to see what I think of it. But do I really think it's a 4 out of 10? I don't even play the games anymore and I don't think it's a 4 out of 10. And like I said, even if it is, 99% of people that are playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 are going to be playing for the multiplayer. So, for all the people, and I'm calling out people in the that do the content, the con, uh, console wars. If you're a content creator and I see you put in numerous hours into Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, I don't care if you're playing the multiplayer. You had a lot of energy to talk about this game in a negative aspect. So if I see you putting in that much time into the multiplayer, you're lame. You're lame. You are lame. A 4 out of 10 should make you not want to play the game at all. I don't care if the game goes on sale. I don't care if the game is free. If the game is as bad as you're saying, you shouldn't want to touch it. But we all know content creators now, they do all this for their views. 
they're not gamers anymore. They're entertainers. And it is what it is. Like, you know, props to you. You get your views and all that stuff. But I've said it once and I'll say it many more times. Watch who you get your information from when it comes to gaming. Watch who you get your information from. Because a lot of these people are no longer true gamers. They go to X. They go to YouTube. They talk on Twitch, Kick, whatever they use. So they can get that interaction. Whatever is the popular consensus, that's what they're going to leech on to. And then when you see people speaking facts, those are the people that don't get the views. Those are the people that, oh, you know, you're just trying to be an X-Bot or a Sony pony. No, they actually have their own legitimate opinions. That's a shocker. They actually have their own legitimate opinions. There's going to be plenty of people that are your average gamers or even your hardcore gamers that play Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and they're going to enjoy it just like they do every other Call of Duty. I find it funny that people can bash Call of Duty and call it a $70 DLC, but these same people will get every new Madden, every new 2K, every new Assassin's Creed. And I like Assassin's Creed, but the point is you'll get these yearly games Especially you, you sports fans that I've seen talk about Call of Duty. You'll get the same game every year and get the $100 edition and spend hundreds of dollars, hundreds of dollars, hundreds of dollars on VC and ultimate team points and all that stuff, but you'll never complain. So stay in your lane. Wherever that lane may be, stay in it. Right now, it's just the cool thing to hate on Call of Duty because it's under the Microsoft umbrella. And I get it's multi-platform. But what's funny is people are now dissing Microsoft saying, and Microsoft's charging $70 for a DLC. Microsoft doesn't dictate the prices, stupid. They don't dictate the prices. And Modern Warfare 3 was being worked on before, Act before uh, Xbox acquired Activision. Let's just say for the sake of argument, Microsoft ended up getting the studios who made Baldur's Gate. Are you going to, is every game going to start being a four out of 10 or are you going to review bomb it when you were just praising the game? I'm not saying that's going to happen, obviously, but I'm just saying, are you going to start saying that these games are lame because they're not on the platform you want or because a different company owns that platform, that, uh, that IP or anything like that? That's goofy. You guys steady praise you know, stay, you know, you guys were complimenting every other Call of Duty, even if it was like a 7 out of 10. But now, how convenient that Activision is under Microsoft and now it's a 4 out of 10. Think about that. And if you truly think it is, more power to you. If you truly played and you're like, yo, you know what? This campaign just wasn't for me. Respect. But a lot of you out there know. A lot of you guys haven't even played the game and you're commenting on it. You don't get to do that. How, how do I look talking about Call of Duty's lame and I ain't played the game since Advanced Warfare or Ghost? That ain't for me to talk about. I haven't even put in that time. How does that look for me to say it's whack? I stopped playing games like that and 2K and stuff because I get tired of the yearly releases. That's why as a Nintendo fan, I haven't beat Pokemon Violet yet. I'm t the yearly releases, it fatigues me. I can't keep doing it. But back on subject. Call of Duty probably doesn't deserve the hate that it has or that it's going to continue to get now that it's under the Microsoft umbrella. That's just me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about this whole thing. <sighs> Hopefully we get to a day where gamers start picking and watching people who actually have unbiased views. Maybe one day. But uh, let me know what you guys think of this whole Modern Warfare 3 fiasco, and I'll catch you guys in the next video, all right? Peace out.